Welcome to the Dakota Dynasty. Your Coyotes are at home to open their season in their first game in the FBS level as they'll be taking on North Dakota. We have a battle of the Dakotas today as we'll be at home in the Dakota Dome. We'll get our first look at this team, meet some of the players and see them in their first live game action as we'll be able to actually see what this team is like and see how they stack up in the FBS level though their first game will be against one of the teams also making the transition. Malachi Peterson gets us underway in the Dakota Dome. It'll be Whitworth who brings it out from the two yard line. He goes straight up the middle and is down after a 28 yard return. You can see the impact players, Mac DeGene and Sylvia Widenar for us and Jeremiah Lyles and Buck Mayhew at quarterback for the Fighting Eagles. Here's Beverly on the first play, and Bryson Williams brings him down after a two-yard gain. From the shotgun trip to the right, Mayhew drops back. The lefty throws outside, and he'll just throw it away for his first pass of the season. Now a split back look on third down and eight. He drops back, surveys the field, and the pressure will get there. He'll go down. It's Sylvia on the sack. And now we'll see our offense take the field. Sophomore tight end Tate Wagner, Deontay Knox are the impact players for this South Dakota team. Our first play is a gain of one for the running back Jalen Page. Now a quick screen outside. Here's Deion Gilbert, the slot receiver. He picks up five and has it to the 50 yard line. Ball at midfield will spread the field with four wide. It's a dump down to Delvonte Bell and he picks up the first down on a gain of eight. Shotgun, it's Miller and Page. Miller will keep it on the option. He goes right up the middle. Nice running room as he breaks the tackle and gets 17 yards. Staying in the spread look, a quick slant. It's Deontay Knox as he picks up eight yards. Second down and two. It's trips to the right. Miller drops back and he'll dump it down to Page. He breaks one tackle and will fall forward to the 11-yard line. Good opening drive for the Coyotes. As now second down and seven, Miller surveys the field and he loses the football. He got hit, the ball came free and North Dakota recovers it. And our first drive, it was a very promising one, ends there. North Dakota runs sort of an option, multiple look as there's Claude Patterson for 12 yards. Now the tight end comes in motion. Here's Beverly, he stiff arms Toby Cota and it'll be a first down run for Bradley Beverly. Two good backs for this North Dakota team. Receiver comes in motion, and Mayhew just decides to keep a great block downfield, and Coda brings him down, but it's a 34 yard run for the quarterback. Now they're in the pistol, quick screen outside. He lobs it, and Lyles loses the ball, but we're not able to recover it. We don't get the turnover luck that North Dakota did, as they will hang on to the ball. Here's third down and 11, a screen pass for Beverly. He's hit and spun down, gets one yard, and they will have a chance for a field goal attempt. About a 41 yard attempt, and the kick sneaks in the left upright, and it's the first points on the season as North Dakota now holds a three to nothing lead. And we'll see how our offense responds after turning it over. The ensuing kickoff is away. Mac DeGene and Deontay Knox are our kick returners. Here's DeGene, he goes outside. He's to the 50, he's to the 40, and a great return. He takes it 60 yards. Second down and eight. Jalen Page gets the carry and gets maybe around three yards. It'll be third down and manageable three wide receiver look. Miller quick throw and it's intercepted. Another drive in North Dakota territory ends with a turnover, and it'll be the Eagles on offense. Here's Beverly. Coda can't bring him down. Finally does get tackled after a six yard gain. Tight end comes in motion. The lefty drops back. He throws tight area, but Sean Horn does come away with the eight yard reception. Now they go under center. Misdirection, Patterson nowhere to go. It's a tackle for loss of one. Once again, under center, it's an option look, and they just give it to the fullback. He breaks a tackle, and he's into the open field, and no one's going to catch him. Look at the speed from the fullback. He takes it all the way for the touchdown, as Rakeem Hood could not catch up to him, 
And it'll be 10 to nothing now. 26 seconds left in the first quarter. It's second down and 10. A deep ball, and that's going to be nowhere near anyone. Bryant means on the coverage. Third down and 10. Brock Peterson in the game at tight end. Throw outside, and Nate Wint can't make the catch. A tough start for J.R. Miller. 5 for 8 for 27 yards and a turnover. Now a quick throw outside. There's a nice play by Bryson Williams. As it'll be a three-yard loss for North Dakota. Shotgun, third down and 10. Mayhew drops back, throws outside, and Lyles can't come away with it. It was Mack in coverage, and it's a stop for our defense. Quick throw outside, he was looking for the screen. Instead, it's the third turnover already, and this one's going to go for a touchdown. Jameel Barber, the best corner for North Dakota, takes it all the way. And your Coyotes are now down 17 to nothing. The kickoff is away from the one yard line. It'll be a return outside. He breaks free. The kicker can't bring him down. One man to beat. And he's brought down to the 30 yard line. A 69 yard return. All of our big plays so far have come from the return game. Trips to the right. Here's Page right up the middle. He goes up the gut and picks up eight yards. It'll be third down and short. We'll keep the same look. Miller with a short drop, and we'll just keep it safe and dump down for the first down to Jalen Page. Third down and 10. Miller drops back. He had a man open in the end zone. Instead, he stays conservative again, and it'll be fourth down and nine. We'll send the field goal unit on. It's Malachi Peterson, the kicker. He's a senior, and he knocks it dead down the middle as it's now a two-score game, 17-3. Mayhew on the option, pitches it outside. Here's Patterson into the open field, and no one's going to be able to catch him. He's to the 20, to the 10, and it's another long rushing touchdown, this time 86 yards for North Dakota, and we got some points on the board, but they answer right back with a touchdown. Now it'll be Deontay Knox on the return. He takes it from around the two or three yard line. Great block by Brock Peterson. It's another big kick return. Great move there by Knox who picks up 52 yards. And it's another explosive special teams play. Not really what I was expecting from this team, but it's definitely welcome. And went with another drop, I guess you could say. It was a big hit though. Two by two look with the receivers. We'll go four verts and take a shot downfield. And Barber breaks it up looking for Nate. Went down the sideline. And it's another fourth down and we'll be forced to pump the ball away. And there's a good play by Sylvia. It's a loss of one disruption in the backfield. Already his third tackle for loss in this first half. Draw play, nowhere to go. It's another tackle for loss. This time it's Nick Krutzberg. A big play for him. Here is, it is Richie Campbell on the punt return. We'll see what he's able to do. He tries to break it outside. A good return there, 15 yards. Our special teams are A plus so far. Let's see if our offense can match the special team production. Page, weird run there, but he does end up with six yards. So ends up with six carries for 21 yards so far. Pitch outside, here's Deontay Knox. He's explosive in the open field and picks up 15 yards on the triple option. Twin tight end and the throw to Wint. He stopped just shy of the goal line. It was a seven yard reception. Offset eye, here's Page. Nowhere to go, he might have lost a yard and it'll be third down and goal. Pierce Libby, the backup comes in and he has nowhere to go. He'll lose two yards as we near the end of the first half. Offense stays on the field, fourth down and goal. We need points here. It's a dump down to Deion Gilbert. He's uncovered and gets the three yard reception. It's the first touchdown of the season for your Coyotes. We'll head into halftime down by 14 points. It's 24 to 10. Big rushing plays with a story of the first half for North Dakota but our defense was making some disruptive plays in the backfield as well. The other story is the three turnovers, one of which resulted in a touchdown. We're gonna have to do a better job of taking care of the football in the second half if we want to come back. 224 yards on the ground for North Dakota, 
only six through the air. We had less than 100 yards of total offense in that first half. We heard some boos in the first half from the South Dakota faithful, but there's a big play to get us underway in the second half. It's 16 yards for J.R. Miller, showing off his athleticism on some of these runs. Now it's a run outside for Jalen Page as great vision, and it results in a big time run into North Dakota territory down to the 31 yard line. First down and 10 as Libby's in the game, and it bounces off the defender, and it'll be a loss of 13, a monumental mistake. Third down and 23, we'll see what Miller's able to do. He'll take a shot downfield, and it's deflected by Martel Ruffin, and luckily that one wasn't intercepted. Miller now nine for 20, not the performance we wanted to see out of our starting quarterback. Here's Beverly, he's brought down by Widenon but picks up 17 yards. From the pistol on first down and 10, it's to Beverly, and he is past midfield, a gain of eight. This North Dakota offense looking very good. They attack you in a number of different ways with this rushing attack, as here is a keeper as Mayhew picks up eight yards. Our defense needs to get some of these disruptive plays if they want to stop this rushing attack. There's a throw outside to Beverly. The running back gets the reception as he's down near the 20 yard line. North Dakota inside of the red zone. Mayhew will drop back and he goes down. There's a big play by Rakeem Hood. He stood out in our practice we saw. He's the starting right outside linebacker. Now Mayhew steps up, he'll throw outside, and it's nearly intercepted by Xavier Warren. That could have been a momentum changer there. Instead of be fourth down and 13, but Toby Cota breaks through. There's the momentum shaker we were looking for, as that could really change the complexion of the game. He blocks the field goal in order to keep it as a two score game. Our offense on the field, third down and nine. It's a dump down to Bell, and he'll pick up the first down as it'll move the chains and keep the drive alive. First down and 10, split back look, throw along the sideline on the wheel route, it's Jalen Page for 20 yards. It's our 10th first down on the day. Now Pierce Libby on the carry, he has some room to run and picks up seven yards. This could be a running back by committee with Libby Page, along with Trenton Klimper. We haven't really seen him today yet, though. Now a slant for 13 yards for Nate Went as he hangs onto that one. Split back look, and Miller will just keep it, and he'll take it in from eight yards out as it cuts to a one-score game. You can see Miller shushing the crowd. He heard some of those boos in the first half and he's showing that this team can make the comeback necessary. We've done a good job of really slowing down this rushing attack lately, and now on first down and 10, it's a negative play. Mayhew loses one yard. It is Jeremiah Glover, the nickel corner, making the play. Now a screen outside. That one's nearly intercepted. Instead, it's a loss of one, and we force another punt. See if our running game can continue to pick it up. Here's Page, it's another chunk play as he picks up 13 yards and we go over 100 yards rushing as a team. Levy will sub in as we have a minute left in the third quarter and there's another big play, 18 yards. Our rushing attack really coming alive in this second half. Page subs back in, he's got some room to run and he picks up eight yards. This rushing attack looking very good and really could lead us to this comeback. We're down by one score. The big momentum shift with the Toby Cota blocked field goal. Now second down and two. Here's Libby who picks up five yards as we'll move the chains once more. Now Trenton Klumper was talking about him earlier. He comes in and a great run from him. All three running backs contributing and now we'll go to the air as Miller throws and Klumper can't make the touchdown catch on the angle route. We see the backup quarterback, Ethan Smith, come in. He's more of a runner, and it'll be a loss of two for Jalen Page. But we'll stay aggressive, and we're going to go for it. Miller in the game. It's Dion Gilbert. He has his second touchdown of the game, and we're tied up at 24, pending this extra point. And with six minutes left, we're knotted up at 24-24. Here's Mayhew. He picks up the first down after a gain of 11. And it's first down and 10, a draw play 
as Beverly into the open field. Bryson Williams does make the tackle, but the run goes for 15. Five and a half left. This game is tight as Dakota with the tackle. 290 yards though on the ground for North Dakota. Most of that though came in the first half, which is nice to see. We're doing a better job of slowing them down, but there's a first down run for the quarterback. From the pistol, twin tight end set. Stretch play outside as Beverly cuts it back inside. Not quite enough for the first down though. Same formation. For North Dakota, Beverly on the carry. It's Rakeem Hood on the tackle as that will move the sticks. And there's a big play, another tackle for loss. We've done a great job of disrupting this running attack when they're not making big plays. We're doing a good job of getting in the backfield. Third down and 10, and it'll be Beverly stopped short. So North Dakota will attempt the field goal. They'll try and take their lead back. The kick is away and it is good. So 27-24, two minutes left in this first quarter. We have a chance to make an impact in college football with a great comeback in our first game. We'll see if the South Dakota native J.R. Miller's up to the task. Second down and four. Miller will escape out to his right and he'll just decide to take it off and he gets the first down. And that will move the chains and keep the drive alive. Three wide set on second down and 10. It's nearly intercepted. That could have ended the game right there. But luckily, Hayden Kirby can't make the interception. It's a big third down here. Wide open down the seam. It's Dion Gilbert for 26 yards. And we're inside of North Dakota territory. Ball at the 35 yard line. It's a dump down to Jalen Page. On second down, he picks up five yards. And it'll be third down coming up after this timeout. Deontay Knox is injured and won't return today. A quick throw outside. That one's nearly intercepted by Jameel Barber. Two plays that could have ended this drive. Instead, it'll be fourth down and five. Let's see what this team's able to do. Dump down to Deion Goat. He's been our best receiver so far today. And he gets seven yards. And our drive continues once more. 55 seconds left. Dump down Delvonte Bell. He fights forward for eight yards. We're under a minute left and we'll use another timeout. Clock ticking, second down, and two. Here's Knox, he's back in the game. He's playing through the injury, and it'll be first down and goal from the one yard line. Clock is ticking, here's Page. It's another goal line stand. Nowhere to go for Jalen Page. Clock continues to run, and we will use our final timeout. Four wide, Miller quick throw, a tight window. Knox playing through an injury, and he picks up the touchdown. The third passing touchdown for J.R. Miller. It was a tight window, a tough contested catch. Now we have nine seconds left. Mayhew will drop back, he throws. He's got Sean Horn, and he picks up 17 yards. There's four seconds left. They just have one more shot at the end zone. I don't know if Mayhew has the arm to get it there, but he'll throw downfield, it's intercepted. Travon Simmons, the backup free safety. He comes away with the interception. Our first turnover on the season and our first turnover as an SBS team. And that will seal our first victory. An exciting come from behind victory. We had two near interceptions on that final game winning drive. Luckily both were dropped and we complete an outstanding comeback. I didn't think it was possible but this team was resilient. They kept fighting, and J.R. Miller pulls off the comeback. Some nice running game action in the second half. Page, Libby both were good. Deion Gilbert with two touchdowns. Deontay Knox with the game-winning touchdown. On defense, some outstanding performances from Sylvia Widenark and Rakeem Hood. I didn't expect a whole lot out of Hood, but he's looked good in practice and in the first game. 317 yards on the ground for North Dakota. A more balanced approach from us. Our three turnovers don't come back to bite us as Toby Cota and Deion Gilbert are the players of the game for us. No time to really dwell on that much as we have to move forward. We'll be on the road for Oregon State. They have a great rushing attack, it appears. They won 35-0 against an FCS opponent. We're basically an FCS opponent, so we'll have to see how well we can do against them. It's definitely going to be a tough challenge. Jamar Jefferson is a talented player. Jake Luton at quarterback, another talented guy. 
and with how tough of a game it was today against a team that's very in line with our level of talent, it's going to be interesting to see how we fare the rest of the season facing no one really similar to us in talent. Everyone else is going to be better than us is the easiest way to put it. A look at some of the other teams as North Dakota State will be taking on North Carolina. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like down below. It was a very exciting game. I couldn't have asked for more of an exciting game to open this series. Comment your thoughts on the game down below. Who really stood out for you today amongst our players? Who are you most excited to see moving forward? It was an exciting week one. Can't wait to play more of this series. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time as we play Oregon State.